The number of bacteria in a liquid medium doubles every day. There are 44,000 bacteria in the liquid medium at the start of the observation, which represents the number of bacteria Y in the liquid medium T days after the start of the observation. Since the number of bacteria doubles every day, we are dealing with an exponential function, which will look something like this, where Y is the number of bacteria, A is some constant, B is some constant, and T is the number of days after the start of the observation and the independent variable here. So since there are 44,000 bacteria at the start, this means that when time t is equal to zero, which is the start of the observation, the number of bacteria y should equal 44,000. So we can just plug that into these equations. When t is equal to zero here, we get one half times 44,000 raised to the zero. Any quantity raised to the zero, po zero power is equal to one. So this will just reduce to one half times one, which is just equal to one half, which is incorrect because there should be 44,000 bacteria at the start of the observation when time t equals zero. Okay, so if we look at the second option here, when we plug in 0 for t, we get uh, 2, because 44,000 raised to the 0 power is just 1, and that multiplied with 2 just gives us 2, which is also incorrect. And then for c here, we get 44,000 times 1 half raised to the 0. So 1 half raised to the 0 power is just equal to 1, and 1 times 44,000 is 44,000, which is correct, since there are 44,000 bacteria at the start of the observation. And then, same for answer choice D, we get 44,000 as well, because 2 raised to the 0 is just 1, and 44,000 times 1 is just 44,000. So we're left with answer choice C and D. So now we can check uh, how many bacteria there should be on day one. After one day of observation, there should the number of bacteria should have doubled. So on day one, the number of bacteria should be 88,000. So if we plug in, so if we plug in this time 80, uh, t equals 2, or t equals 1, we get 44,000 times one half because one half raised to the first power is just one half and this will give us twenty two thousand or two thousand or two twenty two thousand which is incorrect because the number of bacteria was supposed to double not half okay and then if we plug in t equals one into d here we get forty four thousand times two which is equal to ninety uh, eighty-eight thousand, which is correct because the number of bacteria after one day should have doubled to eighty-eight thousand. So when t equals one, d is true, and which means d is the only correct answer left. So d is the correct answer.